free practice was wet, so he got no chance to test the car in the dry in the, in the free practice. And then he shunted it after three laps in qualifying. So this is his first proper run in the car, so he's actually doing a half, half decent job. Yeah, but he raced them last year and he's won here twice in 3000. Now, come on, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Slack. It, it, it's different. Say, it's different. I mean, I it's to... hard. I mean, he's, he, you know, with sick tyres, much less wind than the cars used to run last year. So it's, it's hard. I mean, and also you'd be rusty. He's not driven this year, so he, he needs some time in the car just to get the rust off. And we gather he's got a cast on his right wrist as well from the shunt. Whoa! Oh, oh dear. Oh, that was. That was it's a slightly over ambitious uh, dive down the inside. And, well, Lopez uh, didn't give him any room, to be fair. I think Bruni stuck his nose in and, and Lopez left no room for error there whatsoever. I would agree with you, were it not for the fact that Bruni, of course, had done exactly the same thing, come from too far back last weekend in the Nürburgring feature race and yeah. dumped somebody uh, straight off there because he was just out of control I, from too I far agree. back. I think Bruni takes most of the blame, but I think yeah. Lopez must take a little bit as well for, for not leaving enough room. I think you could see Bruni was probably going to get that wrong. Well, you see now, Lopez could have survived that if he'd left more room, yeah. and that's the thing there, isn't it? You know, oh, yeah. halfway yeah. through the race. That's the whole point. You, you don't leave room for someone else's benefit. It's for your own benefit, really. Yeah, it's, it is uh, survival instinct. Instinct. Folks, Porchero, the, uh, with the Mutual Madrilena Bank sponsorship on, showing that uh, he is not here at home in Catalonia, but... <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, but I think, what, I, I stand by what I said, Lopez, give him a little bit of a squeeze, because he saw Bruni go for the gap, came across on him. Bruni locked his rears and he just tagged the back of Lopez. Well, the real problem was that Bruni uh, took off over the kerbs, didn't he? None yeah. of his tyres were in contact. It took, well, actually, he was out of control before he got to the kerb, so I'll, I'll revisit that. But you're right, I mean, uh, Lopez squeezed.